hello friends in this video i am going to show you how to generate a pdf file using from the base 64 string so we can generate the pdf file uh, in multiple ways uh, from the html stream root stream rule we can also generate a pdf file but in this video i am going to show you i have a base 64 content from which is nothing but a base 64 string from that base 64 string i am converting into a pdf file using a pega ovotb activity i have a pega ovotb activity call code pega hyphen pdf dot view so call code pega hyphen pdf is one ovotb class one ovotb class so in this class i have a one uh, in this class i have a one activity call it as a view okay so if you want uh, just go here and you can search for a class code hyphen pega hyphen pdf this is the ovotb class so here go to technical activity so i have a one ovotb activity call it as a view so okay by using this activity i am generating the pdf file from the base 64 string okay so what is the input parameters for this activity just open this activity so what are the parameters one is a pdf name another one is a pdf document see the pdf document as a byte array pdf document is a byte array which is nothing but a java object so now what i am doing first of all uh, here in the property set in the property set uh, pdf name param dot pdf name is hello dot pdf param dot pdf name is hello dot pdf this is nothing but a param dot pdf data param dot pdf data uh, this is a base 64 content base 64 content if you want um, if you have a sample pdf you can convert that pdf into base 64 you can convert that uh, pdf into base 64 currently i have uh, we have uh, so many online websites uh, convert uh, pdf to base 64 online so here you can upload any of the pdf file and encode the pdf to base 64 uh, for example here uploading encode a pdf to base 64 so take this pdf take this pdf content okay now as it is which is nothing but a base 64 which is encoded which is encoded content which is nothing but a base 64 content okay this is my first step in the second step uh, this activity is expecting one is the pdf name i have already defined a param dot pdf name and this activity is expecting a pdf document which is nothing but a byte array see this one pdf document as a byte array so what you have to do you have to convert this base 64 string base 64 string into a byte array so for this i am using a uh, simple uh, java code what i am doing tools dot get param value pdf data to string this is param dot pdf data right i am getting this parameter value and converting into a string yes so in pega we have a class com dot pega dot pega rules dot pub etc this is a one class and this class is having the decode to byte array so it will convert this base 64 string into a byte array byte array so finally this is nothing but a byte array which is nothing but a java object and again i am setting this byte array into a one more parameter tools dot put param value because i am setting into a parameter value pdf document and byte array so finally this activity is expecting two parameters so one is a pdf name another one is pdf document pdf name is hello dot pdf already there and tools dot put param dot pdf document is which is nothing but a byte array so these two parameters pass current parameter page 
I'm selecting or else if you want you can set the values PDF name as well as PDF document instead of that I'm just selecting I'm just selecting tools uh, past current parameter page PDF okay, call and expand past current parameter page now just click on save actions run click on run i mean just let me run once again that this one see this one open this generated pdf file because i have given hello right so finally the generated uh, uh, that base 64 string is nothing but uh, this PDF file. This PDF file. Okay. And now what I'm gi uh, giving here is uh, health dot PDF. Just save. Now action. Run. Click on trace. Click on run. So I'm not able to see the parameter somehow. Okay, here. If you want, you can try. You will get uh, that byte array is nothing but a Java object. This byte array is nothing but a a Java object. Okay. Now very simple. Let me try once again. Action run. Click on run. So hello dot, uh, health dot PDF. Open. Okay. This one. So if you want, you can try for another PDF as well. So now what I am doing is I am choosing mm. one more file. And go to PDF Base 64. And what I just copy pasted. Now what I am doing is save action run run. Click on run okay, because I uh, just open this. See this one, okay, car loan PDF. So in this way you can convert uh, or you can generate the PDF file from the base 64 string using this uh, call code pega PDF view OOTB activity. Thank you.